It's a $26 million project that's currently rolling across the freeway right now. So talking about the Second Avenue Bridge project that has I-94 shut down between I-75 and the Lodge. Kim DiGiulio has a closer look at how it is slowly but surely coming together. Talk about progress. Last Friday, the 5 million pound Second Avenue Bridge it was right here, but over the weekend, it's been slowly sliding across the freeway. And as you can see, it's almost all the way across. What is my job? And that is to bring home the bacon. I'm glad to see it frying up in the pan. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence got a chance to see what the federal dollars she's been advocating for is going toward fixing our infrastructure. We cut ribbons as politicians and do that, but the work is being done by these amazing skilled trade workers. Let's give them a round of applause. It's state of the art technology. The bridge was built beforehand. Now it's rolling across the freeway at a snail's pace. But it'll have safe passageways for people like the kids that go to U Prep High School, students and, and, and staff and faculty at Wayne State, the other communities and small businesses that are here. They'll be better connected in a more safe way. MDOT says to build a bridge of this magnitude over the freeway, it would likely close 94 down for two years. This new type of engineering is changing the way big construction projects impact our lives. When we design things, we're thinking about things like bikes and opportunities for, for people to walk or use electric scooters because you don't have to drive everywhere despite this being the motor city. And this bridge will also make Detroit a better place for people to walk. Wayne State University's President Roy Wilson says this is a game changer for Wayne State University. It will connect, literally bridge, the north part of our ever-growing campus with the main part of our campus. And while I-94 is set to open this Friday, traffic won't be able to use the bridge until the end of the year. Reporting along I-94, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.